Hi everyone, welcome to episode 82 of uh, Wool is the Answers video, whatever we call them. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. So for the first time ever, I've got a message to tell me the meeting's being live streamed. Oh, my Lord. It is. And then it gave me the option to leave or to join. I've never had that in a year and a half. Did you nearly press leave? But good afternoon, I'm Dominique. Together with Wool is the Answer. Yeah. Well, there's something new every week. I think they just do it deliberately just to change it, don't they? So, just to um, confuse us. Nice cardigan. Well, you know, it's almost July, so I'm just getting ready for, ready for Christmas in July or... I think... what I... Go on. No, go on. I, I, I think it's just stopped again now, but it's poured down all day. I went into town today with, with Dad. I wanted to get a few T-shirts and things. The, the shops are full of winter clothes. I mean... Well... I couldn't find any T-shirts. Plain T-shirts, you know, just boring, plain old t And even then, you were struggling to find anything. No T-shirts, I mean... Uh, but it is... It is the 25th of June, so we all know what that means. Six months today, Christmas. 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 Yeah, but it, I mean, it's ridiculous in the shops that they literally had like thick coats, woolly jumpers, black. Like, I thought, what is going on? Where's the summer stuff? That's it. I think I think we've had the summer. It's blowing a gale out there. So I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my warm, squishy cardigan on. Oh, dear. Hi, everybody. Well, I've got mine. Because it's cast off. Yay! Well, I nearly put my blue one on and I thought, I bet you're going to show us yours, so I won't. So, this is the um, Semmer Water Wed Wensleydale Longwall Sheep Shop, mixed with the um, Coral Reef in Sparkle. And to be honest, I mean, you can see the sparkle in real life. There's a little bit of it there. I'm loving it. I love the colour. I mean, you can't see. No, you can't. Oh, maybe if I use my arm, it's nearer. <laughs> there. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can see the sparkle in it there. Thanks, but you can, there's definitely the sparkle. I love it. Look how fluffy it is, though. Can you see? Yeah. Oh. That's the um, Wednesday Down Long Wall, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so uh, again, no buttons on it. Why do we need buttons? Yeah, well, I'm the same. I've not got buttons up because I wear it done up. And you've got a thicker, thicker um, neckband, haven't you? Because you did it double, like the pattern said, and I've just done it single. Yeah, this first one I did, I did it as the pattern said, and then I learned, and the second one, I didn't do it double height, so I didn't need to fold it down. So we're uh, on Sundays today, aren't we? Yeah. Well, it's just that kind of... I just love how it fits here. Just across, I just yeah. love it. I just really like how it fits there. Yeah. Very, and I, very. And I had enough, you know, when I messaged you and said, oh, I'm panicking because I'd done one sleeve and I had literally probably about a metre left of yarn. And I thought I'd used a whole ball for the sleeve. I hadn't. I'd obviously used, I, I just got it into my head that I'd left two balls left for the sleeve, but I hadn't. So I've li I must have, I must still have, um, about 50 grams of it left, easy, 50 to 60 grams of it left. So that means it's taken, I've used 450 grams of the um, Semmer water, Aaron, and 150 grams of the four ply. And that's for a... And it's um, really long, I, it's way past my bottom. Longer than the oh, pattern? A lot long, yeah, a lot longer than the pattern, so... Um, but 450 grams of Aaron weight, I think, for a cardigan is... Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, really good. And like I say, the arms are longer because they're a bit, you know, I like them long. Yeah. And it do, I won't stand up because I'm sort of wedged in here. But it is, it's the same length as my pink one, so it is, like, past my bum. Yeah. That, you know, hip length. Yeah. So. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. I, I mean, a fortnight ago you were saying you couldn't knit your sleeves because it was too hot to be knitting on it, and now you're wearing it. So, I mean, not wearing it because it's finished you're wearing it because it's cool it is, to wear it it's a bit nippy isn't it it's a bit nippy out there i mean it, i'm looking at it now it lit 
It was beautiful the other day. I had my shorts on. Shorts yeah. and T-shirt now. The weather gods knew you wanted to put your Sunday cardigan on. Exactly. And they'll just have it cool enough for yeah. you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, what have you have you cast anything off this week? No. <laughs> no. It's been a very, very slow knitting week. What? No, I don't think I did because I can't remember. Had I finished my sock last week? Yeah. Mm. Can't remember. I mean, it was only a week ago. I mean, can anybody <laughs> else? I mean, I can't remember. But if I thought I'd cast it off, but if not, there's the first one. I definitely showed it. I thought it was I, still on the needles. But oh, well, then I have cast something off. I've cast a sock off. Nice. Um, that looks lovely. Can you see the cable? I mean, this, I've followed the pattern. Yeah, you can. You can. Just hold it still. You can definitely see the cable pattern. Yeah, definitely. Um, but of course, this is probably the first cabling I've done on a sock. You forget just how much it reduces the size of the sock. So... Block it, it'll be fine if you give it a good block. Wet it and block it, it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean... That's all right, because that's the foot. When you've got cables all the way around. Yeah. It really wants pulling out. It, it, it'd be... I mean, it'll be fine, because it won't necessarily be worn. But... Um, <laughs> so, I have cast that off, and I've cast... Oh, I've cast the other one on, but only just... When I say only oh, just, man. yeah, yeah. But I've even tried. I mean, oh, look at you there. I mean, that looks that look almost. That's spot on, Bobbity do. Almost the same, isn't it? I mean, what's happened to you? No, I just I really liked. I really liked this yarn, but I actually liked how the heel fell. Yes, that's yep. about the only bit that's got that colour in. Yeah, and I thought, well. Well, let's see if we can do it again. So I do. I, I like that. Nice. I um, I finished. Uh, I wound Tell it off. Box are again then for people who don't know. They are the. Oh, I can't even. Rome. Are they Rome? They're Dubai. I was going to show you a picture, but it's over there. They're the <laughs> Dubai socks. I've got the. All I've got is the um, printed pattern, not a picture. The Dubai socks from Knitting Expat from her around, around the world in socks. In socks. Eight socks around the world. Now I've said that, I have to think every time. Around the world in eight socks. Um, we've had London, Paris, Rome, Dubai. So we're halfway through. Oh, uh, I wonder what's going to be next. I'm going for New York. I think I know. I think it is America. I want to say San Francisco, but Ooh, I mean... Could be. But of course, like last month, and I can't fall too far behind, um, I'm quite a way off getting that done for the new one being cast on on the first. But... Um, We've had a busy week, though. We've got a busy few weeks coming up, haven't we? It's just a bit manic at the minute. It is. But it's, you know... You'll do it. Oh, well, I'll get... I will get there. So that is um, one, one of the main focus this week. Yeah. Getting, let's get, so let's get to the heel. Let's turn yeah. the heel by next week. Yes. And finish it the week after. I'm only 10 days behind. So um, oh, I think I'm going to do um, whichever the not next sock is. I think I'm going to do that oh, in our... Whatever the not ne ne next sock, what you say. Whatever pattern the next sock is, I think I'm going to do it in the trivial pursuit in our sock club board. Yeah. Sock board game. I mean, just take them words and put them in a different order. Would you like me to help you out? Dominique would like to knit the, her next sock pattern, which will be some city around the world, in the yeah. trivial pursuit yarn. That um, We know what it looks like, don't we, Dominique? Yes. So uh, that's what I think I'm going to do because... 
I was starting to panic thinking, oh, I need to knit that up because I want to knit that up anyway. It's been a long couple of weeks and yes. uh, brains. Um, would you like to see my snocks that I've finished? Yes. <gasps> yeah. I mean, the match on them. That is very, very good. Da, da, da. Two snocks. And the only thing I have to remember is when I'm doing um, toe up, is to make sure I blooming well, I forgot to cast off with a bigger needle because you know me and me cankle. So I've had to give it a good, good stretch there. I mean, I've only got, I mean, what? what six do you use? Pardon? What cast off do you use? Um, normal cast off, but I normally go up two needle sizes and I didn't. I was in a rush to get them finished. Try the Elizabeth Zimmerman stretch cast off. On well, the same. Come on, I've only got four, uh, I've only got six rows of rib. Um, so it's not as if there's much there, but they're all right now. I've I've um, manip I've manipulated them. Yeah. So they're not a very um, they're just a shortish sock, but they're nice. Um, yeah, I'm happy with them. Very happy with them. Uh, that is a beauty. It's just a really nice colorway. Yes. And that's, that's the Barbara yarn, and the contrast I used is um, just, pale petrol. I'm going to get mine just so you can see. Oh, yeah. I think how different they look with a different do. contrast. Oh dear. Oh dear, this sounds bad. Oh no, I mean, it's just showing my laziness. You'd have thought when I put them away, I'd have finished them, but there's, I was going to say there's wires everywhere, there's yarn everywhere, but. So there's mine. I mean, what, what was I doing with them, doing them this long? I have no idea. And then just in a different, they just especially the toe. Yours look sort of autumnal, don't they? I think they look really autumnal, and yours just they look so summery. It's weird, isn't it? Same yarn, just goes to show how how you can change it. Yeah. So yeah, I've already had them on. Unlike you, have you had yours on? No. 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 Put away. I mean, look. I'll leave them out and then slow them in. That's what I've been sat doing today because um, we're doing Yorkshire Yarn Fest tomorrow and we're on, on at one o'clock. Um, so, I mean, as you always know, last year when I was showing you some of the shawls that we had, I had to keep apologising because I hadn't sewn the ends in. Guess what I've done today? I've sat and sewn all the ends in. They've all been suitably steamed and pressed and they're all hung up. I mean... That is very good. It's taken me flipping ages. I didn't realise how many there were. Um, so we've got quite a lot of shawls. Some of you have probably seen them. Um, but there's all of them together. So it'll be quite a quite a spectacular amount and, of shawls. Oh, well, we didn't do Yorkshire Yarn Fest last year. So it's a no. year since any virtual shows, really. Yeah. Um, and if it was on Instagram... You can, we can only have one of us on it. We can at least be in the same room, socially distanced now, but we couldn't. So, and there were some days I was at work yes. and Marie had to do it. So yeah. you'll get both of us tomorrow. Yeah, both of us in the same room tomorrow. Wow. I mean, we were going to do it outside, but... That's not going to happen, is it? It's going to happen, so... Um, not going to happen. Oh, Judith made me feel a bit better. She's not started any of her... Um, Around the World in Eight Socks collection. She's saving hers up. Ah, oh, right. So, um, and Joanne might do the same, because Joanne's doing the um, sock collection as well. She's saying she might do it in the trip. Joanne will be finished. Hers do buy socks were finished before I'd even cast mine on, but I'll, at least I'll be able to see what it'll look like, Joanne. Exactly, yeah. It'll give you a bit of an idea, won't it? It can inspire me. So... So yes, we've been busy doing um, doing get, getting stuff ready for the Yorkshire Yarn Fest. We've been busy sorting out the retreat. We've been busy getting the um, Trivial Pursuit sock sets ready to go out. Been busy getting ready for the next sock set to be put on the website. Just honestly. Just. What, you've missed something fairly important. What? 
What did we launch on Tuesday, Monday? Oh, and the knit along, yes. I mean, it's been so busy. This week I've been on Zoom every single day knitting. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I clicked the right button today for the right meeting. I could have been sat there thinking, why is nobody happening? Oh, because I'm sat on the knit and natter Zoom for Wednesday or something ridiculous. It was so nice. Well, firstly, it's been so nice seeing all your um, pictures on Instagram or Ravelry. So thank you for sharing. Yeah. And it was so nice on Tuesday night when we had our first Zoom knit along. Um, and I think the one thing we all learnt, which I'm sure every knitter can... <laughs> What's the word? Appreciate. Um, appreciate, thank you. Um, no, I don't think there was one of us that had not made a mistake. I mean, some bigger than others, but we yeah. were all, once, once one of it, well, I went first, you know, once someone says, oh, I made this mistake, and then someone else said, oh, you, oh, I made this mistake. Oh, oh, you meant to knit them all, or you meant to pearl them all. It was, it was a really nice we evening. We learned that not, nobody really reads the pattern properly, did they? You think you read it, and then you go along and you think, oh, it's not quite right, is it? So it was quite amusing. But it was lovely. Um, and we had some really nice feedback as well from the Zoom, because we didn't know how that would work, did we? Um, we know that lots of people have done different knit-alongs, and you you know you get your pattern and your knit-along and you share. But it was nice. We didn't know how the knit-along would go, did we, on Zoom? And it was really nice that people said they've enjoyed it and it was worthwhile. Yes. Um, you know, so brilliant. I mean, yep. the way forward, maybe we might end up, you know, be a regular thing. Just I mean, I'm sure thing. that was Tuesday and there were some people that had nearly finished it anyway. I know Judith has definitely uh, finished because she's put a picture of hers. She's finished the whole of the section and it looks beautiful. Well, I was just about to say, um, I've got mine now. So how about we do a spoiler? If nobody wants to look at it. Well, I've got mine and you'll see yeah. what i've made so if if we'll give you um we've given you the spoiler so look away if you don't want to see it so just before you do that do it they're on social media and everyone's putting a um spoiler picture on first this will be released as a pattern yes seven eight nine weeks when we finish it all so if you want to do it as a mystery you will be able to but we'll have seen it all so look so away I'm, I'm sh sharing the wool I'm using. So I'm using the sparkle mustard and the deep navy. My navy is a bit deeper because I'm using one that's been over dyed. So it, it is it is very, very dark in spots. So it's darker than what normally is. So this, this. Oh my God, you finished as well. <laughs> finished. So, you, I mean, it's so dark. Oh, you can see the cable in, but not much. Can you oh, see? Oh, you can. There, 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 there. Stand. Oh, still, yes, you can. So, I, you can see I started off, you know, I did a, apparently, you know, if you read the pattern, you could start off in one colour, then it changes to the cables. And then I've gone, I've gone, <gasps> I look like a, a bumblebee there. That looks really, really so, nice. I am. Um, and we said this on the knit and knit and natter on the Zoom. Don't worry if you think it's looking not very wide. You have got to block it. You know, you do need... No one thinks that. Marie's just got a complex about it. No, I'm just worried in case people think, oh, it doesn't look very... It's, you know, it's it'll be a nice size. Um, because we do know you've got to block your shawls and things. But, I mean, you, you still... You can... can. You can see there that my navy's got like black bits in it. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the colours. And this is mine. So I was the first one to... I mean, I made a mistake, but I did. All... I was also working from a pattern that didn't say change your yarn. I've seen the finished thing and I know you should, but my pattern didn't tell me to. So I've not done my... <laughs> That's all I've got done of mine. It's a lovely colour, that. But that is... I will get I, can I just say that the colour that you're showing, that green, is brighter, isn't it? I don't know what's wrong with your light. It just seems to be coming out quite... Well, it's because it's like winter outside. But that green is more vibrant, isn't it?
Has that helped? No, not in the slightest. Well, does that help? No. No, it looks a bit washed out and it isn't. It's a really vibrant green, isn't it? No, I think that is a fair no. colour. It just looks, but you put the blue up because this is the other, what the colour that you're going to be doing is in. So that, the rib should have been in that. Yeah, but then I've got the same colour wool here and look at the difference in the colour. Is that yak? Yeah, that's the yak, navy on yak. Wow. Your colours just look a little bit different today. That looks like quite pale and it isn't. It's just the way the camera is, isn't it? It's probably because I'm sat in the corner of a room and um, so that's the um, ribbon should have been in the navy, but or the um, cable really should have been in the navy because I meant to start with the green, but um, yeah. it, it won't matter. So that's what my stripes are going to be like. Lovely. Um, but as you can see, I'm, I'm a long way to go. I've got to admit, I am pleased I finished the cabling only because I've done it in that navy and it is so dark. So to see, especially when the weather's been like this, I've literally had to sit with a in good daylight to be able to see it because it's like knitting with black. You know, you can't you can't always see the stitches. Yeah. It was it was hard going these last few days. Not the pattern, but the fact that it was I couldn't see the flipping yarn. And I'm just the different discussion on um, cable needles, didn't we? Yes. On the night. But you um, can see, there's my cable needle. Um, I'm trying to see. My cable needle, so bearing in mind this is knit on four mils, my cable needles are 2.5 DPM because it's what I'm knitting my Dubai socks in and they were next to me. Next. So I, I, haven't got, I haven't got the one I normally have. So this is the cable, well, that shaped cable needle is the one I've been using. That's not the one I used. I was using the Knit Pro Magnetic one, which I kept calling my Hercule Poirot moustache because it's black. Um, I haven't got it in my bag, but one of the ladies, um, some people have been using straight needles or DPN needles. Um, one of our knitting needle, uh, knitting needle ladies, I mean, for goodness sake, knitting lady, um, Claire, was using a J-hook, and it is just that, it's, it's a J-hook. Um, so I tried that and I couldn't, I like this, I like this one. Um, and I couldn't get on with it. I dropped more stitches with the J-hook than you know, I couldn't believe it. So that's gone in my bag again, but I've, I, the set I got, I've got loads of these different ones yeah. in. So it's just I, choosing what you use. It is, I really like a J-hook, um, but I just, when I, I was sat um, on Sunday when I cast mine on, because I, Oh, I didn't get the pattern a day early, but I, because I tech edited it, I'd got a copy of it. Um, and I just couldn't be bothered to get up and find a proper cable needle. But um, I really like the J-hook ones. But yeah, we were all saying everyone was so different. And like everyone was saying to me, don't you needles fall, don't your stitches fall off? Because it's so small. I'm, none of them have they've not fallen off once. So how am I falling off on a J-hook? I had two, need two, two stitches on a J-hook and it was... Honestly, I just thought, well, this is ridiculous. I think it was the way I was holding it. Everything was just sliding off, so. The whole point, you don't hold it. No, when I was coming to knit, when I was using it to knit with, you know, I have no idea what I was doing anyway. Judy. It, it's how we do, it's how you do yeah. things. I think it's how I hold it ready to, to knit. And because when I knit, my need, my, I do knit very close to the end of my needles. Like my yeah. stitches are always very close. And I think that's what it was. Judith. You want special blocking instructions? Of course there'll be special blocking instructions. You know what I'm like for blocking. I mean, there could even be a special blocking video. There could be a Marie special blocking video. Why that, not? We, we've not put on the pattern, actually. That should have been what you'll need. And maybe what you'll need is like 12 cans of beans or fruit or something to help with your blocking. Yeah, or um, a bare window with locking windows that you can stretch it from or a washing line. I mean, I could, I could do a whole, I could do a whole video on it, couldn't I? We could even, we could even have a blocking competition. 
Oh. Let's it in the most ingenious way. Now you're talking. I like what? that idea. Oh. Lisa likes her J-hook. Maybe, I think, yeah, I, I, I need to put... I need to try it with something something else, but I was really struggling. But the time I used it, I dropped stitches and I thought, well, this is pants. I'm not, I can't do this. But that's what, and that is why there's so many different things out there, isn't there? Because we all do things differently and we all like different things. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, oh, look, Sally's on her last row of cable. She's nearly at the stripes. Come on, Dominique, get a crack on. No. I, I am going to be, there's always got to be someone at the back of the class just keeping everyone feeling better, and that can be me. So um, we've stopped showing everybody the pattern now, so if you, you know... Yeah. You're just being sat there with your eyes and probably nodded off. That yeah. But, so, Dominique, that wool that you've just shown us. Yeah. Are there new colours? So... I'll show the navy here. Because it looks... Well, we'll take pictures, proper pictures. Well, it'll be on the website tomorrow. They will be yeah. on the website tomorrow morning, these colours. So they're both on yak bases. So it's navy on the yak. Can you see the twist there? You can really see the twist on the stitch on the wool. And the green that Dominique's holding up is apples. Oh. Apple. But yeah, the twist on the on the yak is absolutely gorgeous. And it gives a really nice stitch definition. So they're twenty pound for um, hundred grams, and they will both be on the um, website tomorrow. Um, oh, are we the kind of being launched for? Well, it's coincided with everything Yorkshire Arm Fest, but then of course we forgot that I was casting on the mystery knit along, so you were getting sneak peek anyway. So we thought we'd get, give you a sneak peek because yeah, it's what I'm using, but they'll be available from tomorrow on the website. Um, <laughs> While I was in the cupboard, I just thought, I, I saw them, they were next to each other, and that's mustard, which is already on the website. That's a mustard on the yak. Look how nice they look together. Very nice, yeah. You've that, shown the green. That, that's the, the oh, just in case you would think you were, I mean, I know they are both greens, but that is a much a brighter, lot, yeah. There's the um, orange with it. So... Um, so yeah, we've now got quite a few different solid colours on the yak and um, multis, haven't we? So there's some nice combinations to put together. Judith, what do you think? I have tried cabling without a needle. Again, I just found it a faff. I find cabling quite easy just when I know where I'm putting my needle backwards and forwards on that little, you know, on the little thing. It's each to the run. I have tried cabling without a needle. Yeah. I can cable, we were saying this, I think Kay and I were both saying, I can cable without a needle, double knit and up. I find cabling without a needle on four ply, or maybe it's the merino, yes. uh, because it's quite smooth. I, I tried and I, I didn't go on with this pattern without it, but I do cable without a needle, double knit and above. I think it is, I think it's the... It's the size of the stitches, isn't it? Because with four ply, the stitches are so small. I think yeah. that's what it is. As soon as you sort of take it out, that's... You... And because you're purling rather than all knitting. Yes. Yeah, I think that's... That's when I was losing them on the J-hook because on part of the pattern, you purl off the cable needle. And like we were saying, a lot of patterns I've done, it's knit off the cable needle. And in fact, one of our ladies has actually just done it as knit off the needle and hadn't realised. And it doesn't really, it doesn't look any different because it's it's that back bit of your cable, so you don't really see it. The um, only time it is if you just do it for a one-off, because I've I have obviously at some point the light is awful, isn't it? You can't see. You can't really tell though, can you? You just you can't. definitely you definitely can in real life, but you'll never tell. Um, you'll I'll never tell if somebody was that close to you looking at it. Yeah. Um, and if if I was any, you know, if I was, oh, no, oh, there it is. If I was somebody else, you'd just take it down and do it again. But no. I'm not. No. So you can, but if you're consistent and always do it the wrong way around, it you can't. 
doesn't matter. So, it was, um, I think it was Sarah from number four put a comment on the thing. Is it a mystery to us as well? No, we know what the pattern looks like. Don't panic. We do know what it's going to look like, Sarah. We're not like going, oh, what's this? What are we doing? We do actually know what the pattern is. I've already knit it. So I know what it, I know what it's like. So, um, yeah. yeah. And I've seen it, but... Um... So at the end, I'll be able to show you two that have been knitted in different... I can't show you it now because it's obviously got the other sections in. Um, and well, I just, you probably uh, could be fold it all. So you might as well wait till the end. Exactly. So at the end, I'll be able to show you two because the other one I've done is in... Um, I've done it in the yak, in the orange and the olive. Yes. And it's completely different, doesn't it? Totally yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, but we were saying that, weren't we, on Tuesday? You know, some people have got um, lots of blues and it just reminds me of summer and then d just different colours just look completely different. Really, so, really uh, nice. so that's two colours there on the yak that we've got. And have we got another colour? Well, this was all, again, for the mystery knit along. So I'm blaming Gemma for this one. So Gemma gets the blame initially. Because Gemma contacted us and said, do you have a plum? Well, we used to have a plum, but it was a, it was a really difficult colour to dye. So then Marie sends me a message to say, can you go and see if you can do a plum? Get in the shed, get in the shed. Can you do a plum that's not like this, not like that, but it's somewhere in between. Off you go. So we did that for Gemma and Marie went, oh, that's a really nice colour. Just do two. And then we'll do it for Yorkshire Yarn Fest. And then on our, one of our other knitting natters, um, she flashed it to Lisa, who went, I love that. So Lisa's, so I, I had to help it. It was such a pretty colour. It was so, such a pretty colour. This is, thanks to Gemma and then Lisa, uh, we've had to... So this will now be a new colourway. We've added this to the colourway. Oh, no. I mean, again, that it looks pink. It, does, it doesn't look... <laughs> Colour in real life, I've got to say. Tomorrow, when we get the pictures, it will be on the website. It does look so different. Look. Hold it back there. That do, Yeah, it does look different there. Yeah. Hold it up against your wall. Yeah, so it's a beautiful, true plum colour. And that's on Sparkle, isn't it? Um, that, is sparkle. that will be added and that will be a... Well, uh, I it on Sparkle because I, I thought... <gasps> This is going to look stunning on Sparkle. And Lisa said, Lisa, I said, Lisa, was it on Sparkle? Yeah. yeah. So I'd already done it once and forgotten. It'll yeah. be available on all the bases other than yeah. Yak. But um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, available tomorrow. Again, that will be on the website. Um, and we have got um, the theme for Yorkshire, um, Yorkshire, oh, I'll get me <laughs> up. The Yorkshire Yarn Fest is midsummer um, and we've dyed. Um, some minis we, we can say that because we've already said that that's what we do so we've yep. dyed some multicolored minis to go for our theme um, and they will only be available over the weekend so but those colors that we've just shown you we've added them to our new colors so they'll be there don't um, yeah. so the, the minis will be only available this weekend yes. but the other 100 gram colors yes. are just now added yes. to our um so yeah um, so, but all of those will go on the website tomorrow. They'll all be ready to go on the website tomorrow. Joanne's just finished the cables as well. Yay! You have done well done, everybody. I look forward to seeing all these pictures. Yes, uh, Sarah, sparkle plum. We know you like a sparkle. Yeah. It is really pretty, I've got to say. It is. Yes. Well, Gemma seemed to like it and Lisa seemed to like it. So, yeah. yeah. <sighs> But you'll That's see why if anybody tunes in tomorrow. It is why I can't speak at the minute because we have been so busy. Yes, it has been busy. And I, but, I mean, knitting that to the other night when I was we were trying to bully, and I would say the word bully, which is not a very nice thing to do. But I was trying, <laughs> there was a few of us trying to get Dominique to do another colourway. She was having none of it. I mean, absolutely. I even volunteered to come up and I got the look and I thought, I'm going to shut up now. Um, I was pushing me luck, I've got to say. I like doing it sometimes, but I know when I've gone too far and I had definitely gone that step too far. But, I mean, it wasn't a solid no. It was, let's just calm down, not this weekend. Yeah. 
Yeah, get a grip, Marie. That's what I was being told. I mean, it's nearly as bad as I had a really bad day yesterday. I was I was paying some of my bills and I was paying off one of my bills and um, I got right through to where you get your, um, your code sent to you to pay your bill. And I thought, it's a bit weird. Why are they caught with that bank details on? Then I realised I was trying to pay my bills with um, my business card. I mean, I literally was like, I had my finger over to like authenticate it. And then I looked and thought, oh my God. So then I spent all afternoon in a blind panic thinking, oh my God, has it gone out? Has it not gone out? What's happened? Oh, she's going to kill me. Oh my God. Luckily, it hadn't. <laughs> it was fine. What a oh. dawn. Honestly, if you'd seen me, I was thinking, oh, what a dawn, what a dawn. I thought I'm going to get this alert on a phone pinging up saying, you somebody's trying to take out all this money out of your account. Because it was quite a big bill I was paying. I was paying a big bill off. But no, you, you, you obviously knew subconsciously as it popped up. But no. I mean, the cards are completely different. You know, one's bright red and the other one's dark green. What was... Honestly, I think I was trying to multitask yesterday and I think we've got that much going on in our heads of things that need to be done. And I, nearly yeah. was the answer, nearly paid all my big bills, which were good. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Where's Marie? Oh, she's just run off with all the money from Wally. Yeah. She's on a Bahamas holiday somewhere, if I could get out of the country. But anyway. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Lisa's saying it's gorgeous. She can highly recommend the plum. It, it is a pretty colour. It is a, and the nice thing is, so tomorrow we'll be able to show it with the other colours. It yes. Really, I mean, it would make like a nice fade in some of the pinks and, you know, if you've gone pink to purples. We do try. We do, you know, we do try and respond if we can. Yeah. Because I think, you know, because now we do the 50 grams, that, that is a possibility with some of our colours. So I, I was thinking today, when we set it up, I might try and put it so that the colours are in a bit of a colour order. I mean, I'm saying this. A rainbow? Yeah. You know, so like the blues go from dark to light. I mean, I'm saying this, but it, as you know what we're like, and especially when we get together, it'll just be chaos. It'll be 15 minutes of utter chaos trying to talk so much and show so much. We'll probably be stood there wrapped in about 10 shawls with balls of hell, balls of yeah. on our head. I mean, who knows? But at least it's not going to be warm. We're not going to be sweating. <laughs> We're oh. not going to be sweating. <laughs> no, well, uh, I might be warm and sweating, but you, you know. Well, I mean, only if we have internal tropical moments, not because of the heat outside. Not because of the wonderful June summers that we should be having, for goodness sake. Oh, um, have you done any more knitting? No, I haven't finished any more of Scooby because oh. I have been fin trying to get the knit along finished because I wanted to get that done. My socks cast off. Come on, I cast my socks off. I've knit two sleeves this week. Uh, you did say last week you hoped to have Scooby done. I that did. Was I didn't expect to get my sleeves done. So I've <laughs> cracked on with my sleeves. So I've got two sleeves done, another sock. Yes. You'll be sat in the wings. Um, so the other thing is I couldn't be bothered to go and find the stuff in. Oh, right, okay. Well, Because it's in a cupboard somewhere. Somewhere. In a safe place. Yeah. So I yeah. couldn't go, go and route that out if I was completely honest. So now on my needles I've got... I've got the leaf shawl still, so I'm pl plodding on with that. That is all I'm really working on at the minute. So I'm thinking I might cast on, so I've got a pair of socks. I might cast on my first pair of friend's socks. Ah, yes. So I've got those, so I might cast those on. Do the Monica, what? no, yeah, Monica came first, didn't she? Yes. Start off with Monica socks. And then at least I've got something going. Um, yeah. And something mindless that you can do at knit and yeah. knack or... Yeah, exactly. Because everything else I've got at the minute is... Um, I, I don't need to concentrate, but I need to look at the pattern. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to cast any, anything big on at the minute because I'm going to wait and probably cast on another cardigan at the retreat. Yeah. I'm just saying, Kath, I'll need some more wool. I'm thinking yellow, possibly. But I might wait till you till I see you. I don't know. 
I might look. Who knows? Because there's a nice green. There's like a oh. nice apple green, yeah. I'm still not convinced that yellow is me. You say, I love the yellow, but I'm not convinced it's me. Well, like you say, it depends. What, even with a undyed, if you're going to put it with an undyed, it's going to change it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So... I'm just saying, Kath, just bring up, just bring, just bring wool. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. What, you got, what else have you cast on? Anything? Or, I mean, I've really not done a great deal. I've just got more of my sleeves done because um, my brain just hasn't been functioning at all to do anything. The pair of us not been functioning. Anything could have happened this week. Other than go round and round. Yeah. But um, it's lovely that, though. I love the colour. I'm so pleased with it, but um, yeah, I've just put length on the sleeves and that's about it. Um, so that will be again, knit and natters, because I can't do that cabling on a knit and natter. I can, I can the non-cable rows, but I just have to concentrate. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even the Dubai socks, I have done at Knit and Natters, but my brain capacity is not there at the minute, so I can't even do them. So that is just going to be a pick up, put down when. You do know what's going to happen, don't you, at this retreat? Me and you are just going to be like sat in a corner, just like. We won't, we honestly won't. But it is. it, it will be hilarious because we'll get there and it'll be like, oh, we don't have to I'm, think about cooking. I've hated knitting to do. Yeah. We don't have to think about cooking. We just get food given to us and we can yeah. in our pyjamas, stroke. Um, one of the ladies did say, do we have to dress up for the evening meal? If you want to, dress up for the evening meal. I probably won't, but there's nothing to stop you if you want to get dressed up and have for your evening meal. Yeah. Um, it's very you relaxed. Want to place at the venue dressed up for an evening meal. Yeah, it's, it's very relaxed. Yes. Um, and there's only us eating our evening meal together. So it's not like we're going anywhere else. No, no. Um, I. The menus well, have all been sorted, haven't they? The menus have all been agreed. I won't be dressing up because I don't really do dressing up. I either do posh Christmas do dress yeah. or casual. I don't really have anything in between. Um, so I'm going to go for comfort. Well, I, I'm going to I'm going to say I'll be as dressed up as I'm, I'll have my bra on under my clothes. I mean, that'll be you know that's the level of dressing up that I'll be going to on Friday. So... <laughs> <laughs> and until you get to know people, and then yeah. I'll leave my I'll leave my bra on until <laughs> until Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's, a good, that's a good point. I can't lower the sticks. Too early, can I? No, um, I, I've not got anything. I've not got anything that I've bought, and I've not got any more knitting. But there's something I just want to show you because, um, just for, um, I want to nick this idea, and I thought it was amazing, and I wanted to share it. Ooh. So, um. I did a very, very small thing for one of our ladies at Knit and Natter, and she wanted to thank me for helping her. So she's sent round a little thank you. But oh, the, way came, the way it came, I just thought, I want to send all birthday and Christmas presents this way from now on. So oh. this... So in like a... Gusseted paper oh, bag. like a gusseted bag. But just with a beautiful... That is... What a simple, beautiful... Uh, that I honestly... I, I was... Well, I'm so touched that she even considered she needed to do anything. But I just thought... That, that is... That is a, yeah, I mean... Full dog clip. Matching the picture on the front. You know, when you just think... What? I mean, if only you could get your Chinese takeaway looking like that as well, Dominique. But do you not think if you don't have to send something through the post? That's beautiful. If I receive, well, I have received, but if I got that as a birthday or Christmas present, 
I just thought it was, and I've not seen anything like that before, and I just wanted to show you That's what really you nice. do with a brown bag and a, a little postcard. I think I'm going to, you know, when I normally fling all the receipts at you, I think I'm going to put it in a nice custody envelope, and you might be happy to see them then. So what I want to know is, where am I going to find, what am I going to search for to find them? Gusseted brown bags. You think so? Yes. Like even, the, even the brown bag, it's nice quality. What, I know, what, what are you thinking you were going to search for? But, I, but like, to me, this, they're not sandwich bags. They're not... They're brown, pa they're brown paper gusseted bags. I just didn't know if they were called something other than a brown gusseted bag. I like the word gusseted. Because in America, you get your shopping and groceries and things yes. like that. You I get your sandwiches like that. Yeah, but we don't have it here, so... Mm. I, that's what I used to like going to America, and you used to pack your shopping in the brown bags. I used to like that. You know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I yeah. love a brown bag to pack my shopping in. Not that I go to supermarkets, of course, but, you know... But I just thought, I'm going to take a picture of this. I want to get some bags and I want to get some pretty pearlized bulldog clips now, because otherwise you forget you. I mean, honestly, it's a really nice, I do like that. It's lovely, just with the card on the outside, that is a really nice idea. Yeah. But really cool. eco-friendly. Yes. And I just thought there might be some of you out there that might just appreciate the simple things in life. And you might think, I like that idea. We've I'm got gonna... see it. craft bags, flat bottomed. Oh, how I'd like to be described as flat bottomed. They um, call grocery bags. Yeah, craft bags. craft bags. I've seen them as brown craft bags. Right. Or party bags. You can sometimes get them as you can get them in all different colours. Party bags. Yeah. Because for kids' parties, that's what I used to use. But you could get like pink ones and green ones. But paper gusseted yeah. little bags that but... you can put treats in. Because we've done all sorts of things, I've still got some stamps, just a bit of stamps on it. She's off now, isn't she? I've yeah. got a lot of time. But look what was in it. I mean, I've unwrapped it to, to everything was beautifully presented. Just a, oh. Oh, that's nice. Citron. And a knitted. Beautiful. That's so nice. Margaret, thank you. You re I've sent her a message. She really didn't need to, but and there's some chocolate in there as well. Jane's saying you can make the bags out of any paper. I once did that from a Martha Stewart um, um, <laughs> video. But what I also did from those paper bags on a Martha Stewart. Um, I'm video, listening. I'm just. <coughs> you've just seen. I made big paper flowers, and you basically <coughs> used gusseted paper bags. And you, and you turned them into big paper flowers. I mean, there's I, lots of things on Martha Stewart's website. I quite like Martha Stewart's website for weird things. And I have seen, when we were at that um, charity evening with Jill, she does show you how to make a bag out yes. of wrapping paper, which are lovely, but uh, they're just, like you say, recent. All simple. Monique will be on eBay soon. Gusseted brown bags. There'll be 10,000 arriving. I, I really mean, like that. I'm, I'm even thinking when we do get back to a show, I mean, that's a nice little yeah. carrier bag. You can have a little gusseted bag. I like that. Yeah. With a, with one of our cards just attached yeah. to it. And a little bulldog clip. So it was just, why well, it touched me that she'd done it, but I just thought... I really like that idea. I'm going to share it. So I expect all my Christmas presents to look like that then. Well, if I can get some bags now, they will. Because if I don't, in six months' time on Christmas Day, you'll go, I'm sure she said she was going to do I'm something. forgotten by then. Come on. And so uh, did you smell of lemons? Yeah. Ooh, it's beautiful. Nice. It's beautiful. Okay. So um, it really did make me smile when it got delivered earlier. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, you see, Jane, you, I, I know you could make, and I, I do enjoy making things. I just, time is not my friend at the minute. I'm thinking so, of the treat. Maybe you could sit and make yourself a little bag. You could sit and make yourself a little paper bag. Oh, 
I mean, th I could spend the whole weekend making paper bags for Christmas presents. Don't talk to me. I'm making paper bags. What do you mean you want to sit here and eat your tea? No. <laughs> I've got my glue stick and I've got my double-sided tape. I'm in my zone. I'm making little bags. But, yeah, I, anyway, it just made me smile and I just wanted to share it. And a beautiful card. I like the card. That card's very pretty. It's from www.loved... No... Love Dove Studio dot com. Say that again. www dot. Love Dove Studio dot com. Photography by Jill Stewart. Nice. It's Simple. a really pretty, show it. Show the picture. Go a bit closer so I can see what the flower is. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. What is the flower? I, don't, I can't see. It's a bit blurry. It looks, look, like, looks like a geranium type. It looks like um, hydrangea. Oh, yes. Can, does it not say at the bottom on the back? Uh, it doesn't. It just says photography by Jill Stewart and then the um, website address. I like a nice flower. I like a nice flower guard. Oh, I, think, I think they are. Are they hydrangeas? Nah. No. No. <laughs> I'm not it's sure. It's made up of lots of little flowers. Yeah, I'm not sure. Flowers. It's pretty. It's pretty and simple, effective. I like it. I mean, never mind that. I mean, I'm sat here with my drink. I needed something to put my drink on today because I'm sat on the other sofa. And, and the first book I came to is Mrs. Pepperpot's Stories. And I just sat and thought, oh, I loved Mrs. Pepperpot. There once was an old woman who went to bed at night, as old women usually do. And in the morning, she woke up, as old women usually do. But on this particular morning, she found herself shrunk to the size of a pepper pot. And old women don't normally do that. I mean, I love this book. It was Grace's. I mean, I think I should do bedtime stories, don't you? I could read Who's it by? Who's it by? Well, it's um, sweet. Is it Swedish? Alf Preussen, or however you would um, pronounce it. When you said these pepper pot stories, it rings a vague bell with me, like I've read it, but... Oh, Dominique, if you've never read them, they are beautiful. I love, I love the Mrs. Pepper pot stories. I read all the... Um... All sorts of mischief as a little Mrs. Pepper pot, because she's only the size of a little pepper pot. And, it, and it's got my favourite words in it, with peppers in. Pepper. I love the word pepper. I love the words that's got two peas in. Dapper. Popper. Popper. Nipper. I just love the word papa, papa, papa. So there you go. I mean, Mrs. Pepperpot turns fortune teller. Mrs. Pepperpot does all sorts of things. I think I, I'm sure I what must have. Text. I love text like that. Old text. Oh, thank you. It'll tell me what it is. I can't. Oh dear. Can you believe it was it was first written in 1959? Wow. Well, I never. I mean the simple things in life that, that just made me smile when I I mean Mrs. Pepperpot buys macaroni. I mean she really should be starring on this show with you and your macaroni top, shouldn't she? I had a macaroni top on earlier. So there you go. Yeah. Well. There you go. Um, but that's it. I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else. There's looking around. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't got anything else either. I'm just, no, because I'm in the other room anyway. That's all my knitting. Just all ready for um, yarn show tomorrow. If anybody would like to join. We will be there at one o'clock. The um, timetable's up. I can't remember who who either is either side of us, but um, I, she's a really nice lineup again. Yeah. Um, some dyers I've not heard of, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. Some good old favourites, um, but yeah, yeah, we shall be there at one o'clock. Castle View Yarns is on, obviously, where I got me. Um, 
friends yes. so I'm looking to see what what she's got on yeah um, but uh yeah I'm looking forward to it and I saw there was somebody with some really nice buttons oh yeah handmade bu buttons I think it's just I like words with two two letters that come out together I like buttons oh. so yeah really pretty buttons so yeah, there is a real mixture of everything. Yeah, yeah. which is nice because then it's not just wool, is it? It's a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Um, so if you there, we will see you tomorrow. And if not, we shall see you next week. Next week, next Friday. I mean, and then oh. July. Oh, my lordy lord. I mean, it'll be tropical by then, won't it? Either that or it'll be snowing. Yeah, one or the other. One or the other. Well, it was lovely. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Look yes. forward to seeing your um, make-along pictures, those of you that have got to your yes. stride. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Nice to, nice to catch up with everybody anyway, and uh, 